All right. Episode nine of our one take challenge. As always, this is one of my very favorite things to shoot. Let's do it. That's beautiful. Where he lives is beautiful. Is that water in the back? Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like it. So beautiful. It's a nice song. You know it? Yeah. Oh. It's I wish you wouldn't have told me that. I wish I could have maybe I know, I didn't tried to figure that out myself. <laughs> I didn't tell you because I wanted to see yeah. if you would pick okay, up. Anyway, bad. sorry, sorry, sorry. I always find the vo the vowel like loing or something like oi. The oi, oi part, Sounds yeah. very Cantonese. Sure. Anyway. You know what I like about this? so far is that it is kind of honest and fragile mm -hmm. and I think that reviewing singers we get caught in a trap of always looking for the loudest the biggest the boldest the riffiest the highest the uh, and sometimes we forget how beautiful it is to be you know restrained and fragile and and he's got that going on and I even like that this is like it's not high production. It's just a, it's just a singer. It's just a man singing for us. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cantonese songs have more of those, right? Yeah, this is the original singer. It'd be cool for you to hear him. He's very unique and uh, different from other Hong Kong singers. Who is it? Um, Gareth, Gareth T. Gareth. And uh, I don't want to give away too much, but he's he'd be interesting too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you is is he covering it in a way that's authentic to the original? Very yeah. Authentic. Very fragile. And this song is about um, putting your ex girlfriend on uh, an emergency contact list because oh. you want that person to be that to be the person that's contacted when you leave the world. Or oh God. Oh, so wow. it's, it's that is it's heavy. Very, it's very heavy, very emo, and he's doing a great job. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey. I feel like I'd have put together it was Cantonese by this point. I want to believe. <laughs> I don't think we've had a lot of Cantonese on our one take challenge. No. Have yeah, we? no, I'm 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 not saying very much yet. I'm still kind of enjoying this, just watching. I find it, he's really interesting. Yeah, he's really interesting because part of me is like, oh, I almost want to give the advice that he needs to be a little bit more, a tiny bit more careful and a tiny bit more supported. Just, you could, like, I don't think anybody of us would say that he's necessarily pitchy, no, but it's also not totally in the pocket. It's just like how Eason performs sometimes, like it's loose, mm, right? Yeah, yeah, but I would like to see him move towards Eason. Oh. Yeah. I would like to see him a little bit more solid, because mm -hmm. Eason's loose, but it's a little bit more solid. Mm -hmm. But, but as we just all heard, the agile, the agility is not an accident. Mm. He, he, yeah. He's definitely got that going. So that even more makes me want to say, as much as I do enjoy the fragility and the looseness, he, you, Singer, I'll talk to you, you might benefit a little bit from uh, tightening up how your approach, just tightening up your approach a bit so that you're hitting targets a little tighter. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to take away from the beauty that we've all mm. experienced, but a little tighter. So just a little bit more careful. I know people don't want to have to think or try very hard when they're singing. And that's a that's kind of a controversial statement. And it's kind of a passionate topic for me because I think a lot of people 
think they shouldn't have to try. Singing is only, you know, you're only a good singer if it's happening very easily. But any of us who perform at a, you know, a more high level will will tell you that you can rehearse and it can definitely become easier, but you always have to steer. You always have to steer. And you are, but I, I think you should like tighten your hands on the wheel just a bit. But beautiful agility. Yeah. Ba, lots of ba, little bounces. But that note, for example, yeah. that note. I'm almost wondering, like he only has one earphone in. I think it would be better if he was more immersed in it, if it was in both ears. But of course, in this situation, he's monitoring himself with right, the one ear. Right. But I do think he would be like listening tighter yeah, if he could hear from both Yeah, it is. It is. And I'm also trying to, to keep that in my mind yeah. that he this is extremely low production there's no reverb here yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not mixed his voice inside the track or anything we're hearing very bare bones so so bravo yeah. Good. and there's no way to do that any less staccato hey no the, the language is such. The language is such. It's very yeah, staccato. Yeah, interesting. That's not about you, singer. That's just me asking <laughs> language questions. You should send us another video. You should send us another video, but I have a request. I want the track lower. I, I want to hear you better. And also, I think because you're using the mic on your thingy, I'm hearing, I think, that, correct me if I'm wrong, because it's sitting on his chest, we're hearing, I'm hearing too much bass mm -hmm. in his voice. Like I'm hearing it muffled through his body a little bit. Yeah. So I'm not saying you have to do a big setup or anything, but I want to hear your voice clearer than I am. But you're a very interesting character. Like he's got a very interesting thing going. Part of me wants to take back what I've said about his accuracy, but I, I think I mean it. I mean it, but there's lots of beauty here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he needs more accuracy, but it's like the whole thing is really, really, really close. Mm -hmm. but, but, but it's the whole thing that just needs to uh, tighten up. Bravo. I stand by what I said though. I stand by what I said. I don't do you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He just gave you a heart. Give you a heart. <laughs> oh, I, I keep heart. thinking people are like it's a finger heart. The Before finger you, heart. I thought people were like doing a weird Okay. Well, great Aww. work. <laughs> no, really, really great work. Um, I want you to take take heart with what I said. I think it was a great performance, and I think you're off to a wonderful foundation. But I think you're capable of more. And a good coach will hold someone accountable when they know that there's more there. So that's all I'm saying mm -hmm. is, you know, this isn't a... I don't want to just say good. I'm saying good and grow. Grab the wheel tighter. That's a 
that's like an Arabic turnaround, or am I crazy? No, not really. It's very. Oh, very, very, you're right. You're very, very. Very Chinese. Very Chinese. Or, right, 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 right. Oriental. Sorry, sorry. Are we still supposed to say Oriental? Oriental's fine. I think that's like not a thing now in the West. We're, we're told that this is bad to say. Okay. Really? Yes. No, it's okay. I think we heard this song before. Oh, really? By another artist, yeah. I think. sense that makes sense yeah. that makes sense sorry not arabic but <laughs> sorry it's that song where people got mad because we said it was a love song which is actually is a love song like traditionally it's a love song but then sitar tan the singer performed to like remember her dad or something like uh, so basically she changed got mad. the meaning yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um so, so to focus back on this singer I think I'm going to have a similar thought, slight, like, there's an overlap with my thoughts to her as the last singer, which is that there's a, a whole bunch of awesome foundation here. I kind of chuckled to myself as soon as she started singing because it just makes me remember that people get so wrapped up, up in fame, meaning that people think that only famous singers have beautiful tone or have talent, but there's, there's so many people all over the world with ability who just aren't famous sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but but I'm going to give you similar advice, I think. I'm going to keep watching, but I feel like you're fragile and you're beautiful. We heard some beautiful high notes that were actually quite accurate. I really liked the floatiness of them. Mm -hmm. But the overall accuracy, same thing. Because you have this much foundation, I also want to say to you, it's a, it's a funny coachly advice that I give on this show. you got to try harder. And I know you're already trying. I know we're, we're all trying when we perform, but... What, by try harder, I mean really steer when it comes to pitch, really steer uh, when it comes to following through a line and making sure that you're supporting a line all the way through. But beautiful start here. Yep, more accuracy. She needs more accuracy. Yeah. Song sounds very traditional. It's old, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, 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 it's got history. It's we hear lots of that stuff. Traditional folk. Cool. Good pick. Sometimes the harder, higher, crazier notes in a song, the singer will nail them. And then some of the simpler, easier mid-range stuff is sometimes what's lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. that was like, yeah. right, right, right in the dead center. Great work. <laughs> yeah, great work. I'll even find a reason to complain there though. Pitches were awesome, but you could smooth out what I don't know if I have that melody right, but you missed one two notes. That's all. Just but, ignore but that's all good. Just that's ignore all good. Him. That's Either all good. way. Ignore him. What I'm saying is sometimes your scoops, which are the notes right on they're right before a main note right underneath and right before. Sometimes yours are a little separated, a little, I'll use the word clunky, and I'm being quite picky. I'm sure you two can attest to the fact that I'm being <laughs> yeah. quite picky. But that's because that was such a beautiful passage. And to level that up, I have to be quite picky, but beautiful passage. Yes. 
For anyone watching out there, right, this is less of a belty, thick tone and more using that term that I really don't like the name of twang, right? We've got a little bit more mm -hmm. of that sound in there so that it's not, ah, we have, ah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Ah, perfectly fine, two different takes. Is it duet? Or is this just this a back and forth? Has, just uh, a back and forth. Has a back singer in this section. Cool. So this starts to feel classically inspired. Is it meant to? Is the song meant to? Uh, if I remember correctly, the Sitar 10 sang it with belt. With belt. Yeah. Okay, so mm. perfectly fine to do yeah. it more like this. But I would challenge you that if you've already got this figured out, adding twang will allow you to sing very, very high up in your range, but you might want to start to try and thicken up, I'll say your mid-high range. Because, and twang is a technique that a lot of singers want to learn, and when they struggle to learn it, they reach a ceiling, right? And they just can't get any higher. So you've already got that down. Now you might want to rewind a little bit, come a little bit down your range, and ah, ah, hey, instead of ah, ah, instead of thinning it out. Mm -hmm. It's a perfectly acceptable take if it pleases your ear and your artistry, but that's just a challenge for you. Great work. She's really good at twang. <laughs> like she's got it on lock. Nice way to pull the mic in tight. How is the wind blowing her hair perfectly? How's the wind inside? <laughs> it's a Beyonce moment, girl. <laughs> great work. Really great work. Yeah. Pretty much here for your outfit, sir. Are those cat ears? Or so cat good. ears. <laughs> and what's on his shirt? What's? I think it's a face. It's a Co saucy. Cartoon? Cartoon character? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. anime character. He's got real sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah. I already like him. <laughs> Long intros are so stressful with conditions <laughs> like this. Oh my god. It's a <laughs> what? It's a Jackie Chan song. Yeah. Oh, but your favorite. He changed it. He changed it. Okay, well, Jay loves it already. Obviously, a different version. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like a. Punk rock. <laughs> Shout out. 
，月无邪，我就会爱你爱得更狂野。I remember this song. You do? You? I do. It's like an old school Cantonese. I've heard this. Cantonese ballad. Ba 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 da da. I remember that melody. Oh, it's a uh, Michael and Ernest Rock. What? Some, some some white band, some Western band covered it too. Oh really? Oh, really? Uh, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Yeah. Is it a Filipino band? Oh, all for one. <laughs> okay. So, I think you have a nice thick tone. I think you're doing quite well with belting up into these high notes. However, you are pretty close to a semitone flat. Maybe not an entire semitone, but yeah, like yeah, half a semitone. So, but I don't know that it's so much pitch issue. So you have two, you kind of have two things to think about here. And the, the one that would make most sense to me, the most quick, and the one that I would try if I was working with you, is I would pull this down a semitone and a full tone and try them in those keys because your voice, just, just what I've heard so far, your range would be able to still make the verse sound lively, a semitone down, maybe even a full tone down. The second side of the coin is you could definitely work on um, potentially, I don't know your voice quite well enough yet, but potentially adding, you know, changing the way, changing the way you're mixing and add a little bit, you know, twang maybe so that you could get um up to pitch but i don't know your range well enough yet to completely know that that could work but i know that i would move you down a semitone either way probably <laughs> Well, you know the band. Michael learns to rock. No, I don't. Okay. 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 Dude, you belong on stage. You're, oh, yeah. you're a natural performer. Okay. <laughs> So I just heard the last three, possibly four phrases where you did a cry at the end, right? Ba da 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 da, which is perfectly fine and awesome use of style. But I always talk about asymmetry in my practice, meaning that if you're going to do something, you want to leave it blank. And leave it uneven so that the ear of the listener does not know what to expect or when mm. to expect it. Mm. On top of that, we really don't want to do anything all the time. Mm. Anything that we do all the time becomes fatiguing for the listener. Mm. I clearly see it's part of your personal style and you should keep it. That's just a thought about adding some asymmetry mm. and some blank space. <laughs> Okay, not a whole semitone flat. That's exaggerated. I wish I could be in the room with you and make you sing that chorus and just have you lift your eyebrows. I'm dead serious. Physically lift your eyebrows. I have too much Botox in my forehead to lift them, <laughs> but you probably don't. So if you just. Uh, 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 just it's going to move the muscles in your face such that that might be enough to get you to get you where you want to be because I'm you might have done better on this chorus you're not quite you're not you're definitely not a semitone under but you're under enough that you need to look at it but you do make up for it in personal style yeah and jazz fingers <laughs> I think a semitone. If he moved it down a semitone, I think he'd be in great shape. Yeah, you can just see it in his body. It's pretty high. But again, lift your eyebrows. Relax your shoulders. Relax everything you can in this section. And then oh, lift. Well, I'll physically, I'll manually lift my eyebrows. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. I wonder if your friends would say that you're someone that is, I bet, you're very fun, you're very playful, you don't take yourself too seriously, and I'm gonna give you a very serious piece of advice. Take yourself seriously. Just see what happens. See what happens, because you are very playful and that will never go away. That's in your heart, that's who you are, and that will always come across in your performances. But I think sometimes we rest on that, because we know we're fun and we know we have style and we know that we're addicting and you know to be around and to watch. So I want to give you permission, to give yourself permission, to take yourself seriously. So go, you know, go at things and sit down with a pen and paper or really go over things, rewind the track seven times, listen to the little riff, listen to, you know, put a different kind of effort in. I know you're putting effort, I'm not at all saying you're not, but allow yourself to take it seriously and see if it shifts for you. But bravo, bravo. Oh girl, we've seen her, yeah? Yeah. This girl is some sort of professional artist. Eh? Mm, probably, I think yeah. I said that last yeah. time. <laughs> but this is delicious, girl. Is it? Yeah. Last time she also did a Korean song. Did she? Yeah, yeah. Is Korean... Um, in relation to Mandarin, is there more space? Yes. Yes, yes. easier to okay, sing. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love your vibrato. Mm. Drooling. It's so small, so subtle. It's so tight, yeah. it's so subtle, yes. But do you think she's Korean? Like that's her language? No, she's Chinese. How do you know? Because her name is Chinese name. Oh. Yeah. Have a lot to say because you are a beautiful singer and artist but I'm going to try and say something so I can offer you something um, I think your vibrato is so beautiful and shows how strong your agility is right your vibrato is well controlled you're able to put it in for short distances it's nice and tight the waves aren't big it's fast it's nice so we know you have access to agility um, 
this is a one take challenge and there was a little riff a couple seconds ago that was kind of in my, you know, I use the term mushy mushy poo poo, but this is a one take. So that doesn't mean anything just because one time it was a little off. But that being said, <sighs> your style is such, like this is very fully formed. This song is very fully formed. It's not an original. This is not an no, original. No, it's a cover. It's a cover. Yeah. This song is very fully formed and could be on the radio or be on stage. You sound great. You're, you're a great singer. You're a, a beautiful artist. I wonder if you started to work in more agility. The artist that's coming to my mind is Her, H-E-R. I don't know if that's the right reference. I don't know if you like H-E-R, Her. I can't really think of any other, like Aaliyah maybe. I don't know if that, that might not be the right reference, but I'm thinking of kind of R&B singers, female R&B singers that use that really floaty tone and they're really greasy and they have lots of really beautiful ornamentations. And you don't need it, obviously. As I said, the song is fully formed, but that might be something interesting for you to show off when you're doing live shows and on your commercial recordings too, but you have such strong agility too it could be something you challenge yourself to is working in a few of those turnarounds that make when you're doing a cover, they make it more you and in your original, have we heard her do an original? No, no, no. no. Can we, can you send us an original? I'd love to hear what you're doing, but in your originals too, I wonder if there's some little moments for some of those little subtle greasy turnarounds, kind of like Billie Eilish, maybe even though Billie Eilish isn't R and B, but that style of riff, those mm -hmm. tight little airy things that I don't know, but again, you don't need it. But I'm trying to say something other than Great. this is beautiful. <laughs> 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 No, you know what? You do have great agility, but you could tighten it up. And I think if you just worked it, worked to tighten it up a bit, I think you would also expand your vocabulary of some of those ornamentations I was just talking about. But I do, I think you've got great agility, but I really think, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it could, I think it could tighten up a tad. You're, you're going for all the stuff. I just think it could be crispy, crunchier Eat in this greasy, silky way that is your style work it do some drills you know you just get into the yeah yeah just walk around doing a bunch of that stuff so it's right at your fingertip but this is beautiful her tone reminds me of haze it's a korean oh. k pop like do you think it influenced her i don't know Maybe. i'll show you hmm? This reminds me of something too. Beautiful performance. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Send me an original girl. The tone, right? I see the relationship, yeah. but I I really prefer her you tone like her and style. Yeah, I do. <laughs> cool. I yeah. do. Okay. Uh, great work and send me an original. This gentleman sent us a video in the past and I think it was you and I, Flo. Mm -hmm. His his audio of the whole video was just slightly delayed or ahead or something. Yeah. So I think we were commenting that perhaps it was punched yeah. or whatever. Which <laughs> I know it's it I know what it's like to put videos like this together and it is a lot of work to have some somebody try and pick it apart that way. In my defense, when the audio is out of sync, it kind of handcuffs me. All of my tools are kind of gone mm -hmm. to match my ears to my eyes, but it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That performance was mm -hmm. beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. So we are about to see him again. Yes, yes. Here we go, I look forward to hearing. Guys, speaker is all there. <laughs> What does this mean? It says, uh, love and trust. Music must be sincere. Oh, I love that! Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a great singer. He's probably on stage too. I don't know. You're both going to disagree with what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. His stylization reminds me of Joe Shen. Now, obvious, hold, his voice is obviously not high, right? He's not singing operatically high, but if you listen to how he's pushing and pulling, dynamic, volume, okay. whatever you want to call yeah, it, yeah. and if you also want to listen to details at phrase endings, right? We're always listening to phrase endings, mm -hmm. and we're also listening to his turnarounds, riffs, and ornamentations. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he sounds like Joe Shen, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's a similar flavor of mm -hmm. detail. Right? This guy has a lot of Joshin skill and did this song before. You've heard Joshin said this uh, song before. Okay, <laughs> I don't think that's what inspired me okay. to say that. Okay. I think it, I'm talking about his personal okay, okay. style. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen for the lean and the pull. It's a within, really, really hard song to I ha Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you'll hear, you're going to hear push and pull from syllable to syllable, yeah, not yeah. just word to word even, mm -hmm. syllable to syllable. Uh, oh, and lastly, Joshin also does this, but also as do many technical singers, you'll hear a pull yeah. and then vibrato. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Singers. This is what it looks like when somebody studies the shit out of a vocal performance. You cannot show up and do a performance like this unless you listen and listen and listen and listen to a vocal and copy and copy and try and try and <laughs> check in obsessively. Mm -hmm. This is what rehearsing looks like. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. That's a Joshan vowel. It is. <laughs> okay. I bet he. I. I feel like this guy might like him. I think so too. Yeah. I think so. Well, though originally it's Tiger's song. It's Tiger Boots. But I think yeah. that I'm saying I think he's inspired by Joe Shen, stylistically. Could be, yeah. I mean, again, Joe Shen's high, high, high vocalist, but stylistically, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? An orange? Because <laughs> you caught orange. <laughs> oh my god! It's oh, so cute. It's so cute. I like it. So cute. I like it. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Beautiful agility, yeah. This guy's better than some famous people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Which is why it probably bugged the shit out of him to hear us say that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It would, it, it would, yeah. be, it would be upsetting. Yeah. yeah. Notice one more 
thing. Sometimes when I leave these sessions, I'm like, I think I was too hard on people. Like you can't expect people to be that in tune all the time. Mm. Like you're, I'm too hard on people. Then I hear guys like this. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Especially professional. Yeah. When he goes up into those higher notes mm -hmm. where he's kind of making it a little thinner and floatier, mm -hmm. that's the design of the song, that's the right? That's the design of the song, yeah. So then I'm going to say to you, if you if you want to send us another one, and I think you should, <laughs> I would love to hear if this is something you do and are inspired by. I'd love to hear something more in that thicker mix belt because mm -hmm. this and the one previous all sat in this more yeah, floaty yeah. place. Yep. And that might be your personal style. So you might kind of have no interest in that and you're a fully formed enough singer and artist that you might be like, eh, that's not what I do. Mm -hmm. If Right, if somebody asked me to do a whole bunch of Billie Eilish type stuff, I'd be like, that's, eh, that's like not really what I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So you might not be interested, but if you are and if you're up for the challenge, give me something thick. And like mm. up there, kind of. Not the doesn't need to be the highest notes, but just like, uh, you know. Yeah. It's a hooky song. This is what it looks like to take it seriously. It's really, really good. Yep. It's really, really good. So Thank you for really resending. Good. And thanks oh, for your pick. more. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really flattered. Yeah. Send us more. Cool guy. Great work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he only simplified like this one section. Yeah, yeah, baby. But he might have chosen to. I mean, think yeah. about it. When it's one take, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and you know you can't fix it. Yeah. Sometimes it's not worth the risk. It's not always worth the da, risk. Da, 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 da. Which I think it takes a maturity mm -hmm. to not be like, I'm just gonna go for it, yeah. even if I crash it. Mm -hmm. This is the better option, I would say. So great work. Great, great. Man, our members are good singers. I'm really yeah. proud. Like a, they're they're <laughs> better a, than a lot of professionals. I'm a proud mama. Like, yeah. Yeah. The clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I've done all right up till now. It's the light of day that shows me how. When the night falls, my loneliness calls. Somebody, I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody, with somebody who loves me. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody, with somebody who loves. Been in love and lost my senses, spinning through the town. Sooner or later, the fever ends, and I wind up feeling down. I've gone all right up till now. It's the light of day that shows me how. When the night falls, my lonely heart comes. Somebody, I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody, with somebody who loves me. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with 
somebody, yeah I wanna dance with somebody With somebody who loves me Ooh, somebody, ooh Someone who'll take a chance Somebody who, somebody who Someone who in their arms I need a man who'll take a chance On a love that burns out enough to last But when the night falls My lonely heart calls ah, oh, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel the heat with somebody Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody with somebody who loves me And well, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel the heat Ooh, yeah I wanna dance with somebody With somebody